Wholesalers are usually the guys who go in and do a lot of marketing, trying to find leads of people that are wanting to sell. Uh, they usually try to wrap that house up under contract and assign that deal to other investors, maybe like me or others who, who want to buy it to as a buy and hold or as a flip. My, my business is not really wholesale driven. Um, I, I get most of my leads either seller direct or from uh, agents, realtors in my area. Um, there are uh, a lot of investors, flippers who, who use wholesalers and, um, and I still buy probably maybe one or two out of 10 from wholesalers. Obviously buy and hold is a great way to build wealth to own investment properties. I've got several friends, I know lots of people who do that. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's a great thing to do. It's not necessarily what I want to do, um, but I do have rentals. It's not what gets me excited every day. But um, again, I think you know you should do what kind of gets you excited. And uh, but yeah, I, I think that buying rentals and holding them is a great thing. So I think the reason I en enjoy the flips is I like the the hustle and bustle of it. I like the um, you know it's kind of action packed, which kind of gets me excited. Um, and you know, early on in my real estate career, I. I did have quite a few rentals and um, that is what caused me most of my stress in my business. So um, I think that to, to kind of offset that stress, I think you could do things like hire a um, management company to help manage your properties. a new house I just bought in Pelham. It's kind of a hoarder situation. Um, this person particularly likes clothes. You'll see when we get in there, they had piles of clothes stacked to the ceiling. We called um, Love Lady Thrift Store to come get it all, and they came and loaded up a box truck, and then we found bed bugs. So we had to unload the box truck into the dumps. We've already hauled three of these dumpsters out of here, but there's still stuff in here. So let's go take a look at it. But you can see, right? I mean, just, just it's kind of trash everywhere, man. So we've already taken several dumpsters out of here and we really haven't put a dent on anything. Um, but upstairs, there's some treasures. An older lady whose kids had grown up in the house moved away and then uh, the kids called me to buy the house and um, I think they were worried about her living environment, um, how bad the house was, kind of hoarder situation. Um, still, again, bugs and fleas and bed bugs, pretty bad house. This is how some people live, man. It's, it's hard to imagine, but, but it's just, I think years of just accumulating stuff and just kind of, it gets out of hand. And then next thing you know, you're living like this, I think but we get a lot of houses like this. Cause really this seller had no option. I mean, they can't list it on the market. You can't have people uh, looking at, at, at houses like this, walking through it, the liability, and it would just scare people. So this is why cash buyers like me are important. A lot of times what I'll do is when I buy a house that has some, some quality stuff left in it, um, I'm on the board at Love Lady Center and my mom founded it, so we'll, a lot of times we'll um, give that stuff to that ministry to sell in the thrift stores, which works great. It helps them. It, uh, I don't have to throw good stuff away, which I don't like doing. But you know, there's a lot of times there's not much good left. But I try to be helpful to the sellers. They're obviously already overwhelmed about uh, you know th the mess they have, so. I just tell them, listen, I'll take, you take whatever you want out of the house and I'll handle the rest. So I think that gives them, you know, maybe an incentive to choose me as, 
as the buyer of their house. One other added step is, you know, the the cost of the removing the items. Usually it's several thousand dollars in labor and um, dumpster fees. Like literally, the, when I looked at this house, they had told me that they had just spent, I think 15 or 20 grand on a full kitchen remodel and that's the kitchen. Dude, I, I don't, you know, I really don't, yeah, obviously I'm going to flip it. I'm gonna uh, empty it out, get it ready, but I, I don't really have any kind of layouts planned out or anything like that. I just like to get everything out of it first. And man, there's a lot of stuff in here. This house is pretty rough on the siding. It's gonna need all new siding on the exterior, uh, a roof. Man, get all this flooring out of here. Put, scrape the popcorn off the ceilings. Uh, it's got some roof leaks. Really, they all need the same thing. They all need paint, flooring, remodeling. Um, it just takes a little bit of extra step on the front end to get the 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 things out of the house, the the the, the bugs and the animals and things like that. Sometimes when you walk through houses like this, you feel things crawling on you, but that might've been the last house. Okay, they planed a lot of this out, y'all, because this was piled up to the ceiling, literally. I think this is the one that had the bed bugs. We came in here and bombed, we put like 10 bombs in here and uh, left them overnight. You can see dead bed bugs everywhere. Dude, is it a mental illness? Cause I see this a lot. <laughs> 